allow me to be the nationalist I would love to be and talk a little bit about our country because I feel it is important to let the world know that Kenya is a transformed economy. Kenya is no longer that African economy that is politically unstable and uncertain. We got our insurance of certainty when we changed our constitution and devolved our political and governance system. We addressed the concerns that Kenyans had about our political system. If there is a country that can be learned to have the mechanism of guaranteeing political stability, Kenya would be ranked number one. And I'm proud to be a Kenyan. People don't really appreciate that we changed our constitution, created an aspirational constitution underpinned on the sovereignty of the people during peaceful times. Very few countries in the world has ever achieved such a milestone that you can create and change the status quo in times of peace. The type of constitution we have together with the reforms that we um, formulated during the time, particularly the legal reforms, the judicial reforms, the structural reforms, are best exhibited by what the reforms in the economy has made. The things we are seeing is because of the reforms we have um, endured over the last 10 years to transform our economy. That is why we are having an exchange rate that fluctuates but within manageable and acceptable age. That is why we are having inflation that is predicted to remain within the projected age in the medium term and in the long term. That is why interest rates can be predicted to turn to one digit uh, number within the next five years. It's because the economy is headed to the light microeconomic environment and the prices of an economy, whether inflation, exchange rate of interest rate, will start behaving. And it's that that we would like today to sell to you. That the fears and concerns that you might have had in the past have been addressed. The country may not be looking like the developed country, if I pick US or pick UK, because the, the status that they enjoy as a result of an evolution of nearly 250 years for the US and 600 years for Switzerland. Our evolution under the new constitution is just four years old, and you can see what we are enjoying. So you could imagine what our grandchildren and grad grandchildren will have 250 years to come. Now, that which we imagine our grad grandchildren will have must be shaped by the actions that we take today. That envisaged future will never materialize unless we act today to create the future. Now, there is no better position and placed people than the diaspora by being engaged and involved in the transformation of their country. The diaspora is privileged in the sense that it's globally exposed. I want to invite you back to the country to get involved and engaged in the transformation of this country. If you keep your money in Kenya, I will assure you your money is safe and I will be lending it to fellow Kenyans. And giving you a competitive return.
if you open your accounts in dollars so that uh, I can give you a MasterCard, platinum or gold, because that's where you are, we can maintain the account in dollars so that there is no conversion when you swipe the, uh, your card in Washington. But your dollars will be earning interest instead of the penalty that you are being charged when you deposit the money in Europe.